Hello everybody, Katherine Emery, home improvement lifestyle expert. I am so excited to tell you about this product, the Root Quencher, because you know what? It's gonna help you make trees live longer and save money on your water bill and save water. So this is Robert Summers. He's the inventor of the Root Quencher. Hello, Robert. Hello, Catherine. I am so happy to be connected with you. Your product genuinely stokes me out. I get so excited, so excited. So tell us, tell us about the Root Quencher. What is it, what does it do? So the Root Quencher is a deep watering device. It installs under the ground next to trees and fruit trees and large shrubs. I love it. So the, the Root Quencher, the reason I really fell in love with the Root Quencher is because when I drive along in my neighborhood and I see sprinkler heads watering from the top, it seems so inefficient. And I think uh, irrigation outside is the number two water waster in the house. So why should I buy the Root Quencher? Well, the bottom line, Catherine, is when you install this subsurface, you're delivering all the water under the ground. It all goes into this valve, goes right to the roots. So you're eliminating what is studies show is 50 percent evaporation from spray heads and we believe you're picking up another 10 to 20 percent in efficiencies by delivering the water directly to the roots so it essentially pays for itself after you install it because you're saving that much money on your watering bill it's not getting wasted on the top not to mention it's keeping your trees alive longer and they're even probably flourishing and they're even more green and they're living longer so walk us through how would i install the root quencher exactly so you drill a hole, you find an irrigation line such as you have right here, okay. and you can drill a hole adjacent to that line and ideally within the drip line of your tree. Mm -hmm. And then you would uh, drill the hole in the ground or dig it with a, um, a post hole digger okay. or what have you. Yeah. You've got three or four different ways to do it. Yeah. And then you put the root quencher in and you can connect the root quencher to your water source. Honestly, we sell a fitting that you can connect it to a hose if you want to do that I too. Love it. But the whole idea is automating deep watering. You've got to automate it so you don't forget about it. So you your trees you, are healthy. Didn't you say there's a valve too? So if the flow is a certain flow, it's not going to disrupt basically your existing irrigation line. That's it's correct. going to blend right in and you've got the valve where you can turn it and then you and then that will adjust because you know I, what else does the root quencher do? Well the root quencher you can also deliver fertilize fertilizer into the chamber That's here. Amazing. So you can pour your granulars in there, you can pour your liquid fertilizer in there, and then you turn the zone on and it mixes and the I personally hate fertilizing in the first place. Yes, I don't. In fact, by the way, all my trees in the backyard have been when you showed up, they started clapping. You can't yeah. hear them right now. Yeah, so um, you told me that they said, why are you using such good materials? Your competitors use half. We won't name names, but yeah. but you said because you, it's a, you're building a relationship with people, right? It's not just one and done. Let's, let's solve the problem. Let's and this is a DIY project, but I mean, our landscapers, our professional contractors, what would be your advice to them with the root quencher? Honestly, this is a great device for you because the landscapers can carry a case of these on their truck. Retail is $50 a piece and installation is between $50 and $150 depending on the complexity, but you can generate revenue, help your clients, help their trees. Absolutely. And be a hero. Everybody's happy. Like you. If my if my uh, landscaper said, "Hey, let me install this device for you where you don't have to think about watering at all. The tree's going to get more water. You're going to end up saving money on your energy bill. Uh, I'm going to this. I'm a customer for life with this person now. They're genius. So our landscapers, hello, we're talking to you. So, so essentially by redirecting the water here in this very small area right next to the pool, we're saving thousands of dollars in long-term pool repair, water leaks, and things like that by forcing the roots to the water source way behind the tree on the edge of the property. So I feel like it's an investment because it's, it's not that much money, but then you put it in the ground and it's keeping your trees alive and it's saving water, it's saving natural resources, it's saving you money probably pays for itself in the first year or two anyway, right? Just 
Well, if you think about it, Catherine, there's two things. One is we know for sure it's well published that watering from spray heads, you lose 50% of the water. Yep. Even drip irrigation, you're losing five to 10% of the water to evaporation. Yeah. So delivering at subsurface is the way to go. There is no doubt. We think that you know, you're know you eliminating the 50% loss from a spray head or a bubbler. I think yeah. you're really saving another 15 to 20% in water efficiency because you don't have to water as much. I can tell you for our fruit trees, Man, if I turn it on for more than a couple of minutes, yeah. I, there's too much water there already. That's great. That's so great. And yeah. they're thriving. All those, all those trees and bushes that they told us we had to tear out yeah. are giving amazing crops. Look at that. Now. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I love it. In any case, we inherited 50-year-old plus trees that a horticulturist and an arborist told us were at end of life. That they had to be torn out eventually and what? we rejected that idea that's yeah. so sad the family the family farm so to speak right or the mm -hmm. family trees they wanted you to take them down so you and maria said no and then how long did it take you to play with prototypes and tinker and get to where you are i tested bubblers in different locations i tested different kinds of spray heads and then we kind of got into i started reading about root structures and realized that wait a minute I know fertilizing, it's ridiculous to me that you scratch the surface, you know, you put the fertilizer and you scratch and the surface and water it, it in. And it's down. Like, how am I going to get fertilizer all the way down to the roots that are 12 to 18 yeah, inches down? That's crazy. So that's kind of how the root quencher was born. I love that. And which, by the way, made in the USA, mm -hmm. woman owned company. There's nothing like this in my 20 years on the market. I haven't seen anything like this. 